Got to put some City Lips Plumper. Oh, yeah. oh hello. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Fruity Blog here. I am bringing you a foundation feature today. I have the new Tarte Found Sealer. I bought it at Ulta. I got shade 16B Fairlight Beige. I hope it's correct. So this caught my eye. I know it's been, uh, the buzz has been going around and um, I haven't gotten a Tarte foundation in quite some time, like maybe ever. I'm trying to remember the last one. So I thought maybe this is the one I should give a shot. There was a previous launch and it had, I believe, denatured alcohol in it. That to me is a deal breaker. I cannot use denatured alcohol on my skin. If I do, I have to make sure it's very far down the list of ingredients and I can only use it very infrequently. Cause I can't say never, cause I know I have like the YSL one has it in there um, and I've used that. So, but um, I know my sensitive skin gals out there and guys are, you know, they need to know, we need to know. So. As far as I can tell, rosacea friendly ingredients, um, no perfume, no denatured alcohol. I don't think there's anything else in here that could cause an issue. Everybody else is different. You've got to know what works for you. The Babassu is the ingredient in here that is the claim to fame. So this comes in a twisty pump bottle. I kind of like that because then it sort of seems to really vacuum up the product and you know you're getting every last bit. Um, I sort of, you know, this kind of plastic uh, waste though in the landfill kind of drives me cross-eyed. Um, <laughs> and sometimes this can get messy. That's just my little packaging two cents. So it has, did I say SPF 20? I think I did. There is, is there a sh it's an ounce and it's $39. It's on the pricey side of foundations on my channel, right? There are 30 shades total. I think it's a good shade range. Um, and it just is um, supposed to be dual purpose. So it has skincare ingredients. It has sunscreen in it. You can build the coverage light, sheer with just your fingers if you want, um, full, well, I think it says medium to full. Um, <clears throat> if you want to apply more and, you know, use a sponge, blah, blah, blah. Because it's skincare, well, because it's sun care and it's SPF 20, I recommend a higher SPF for daily use, especially this time of year. And if you're relying on sunscreen with your foundation, please apply it everywhere. Um, in other words, don't rely on your sunscreen through your foundation. <laughs> Wear your sunscreen first, which is what I'm doing. I'm wearing my Paula's Choice today, um, and then put on your foundation. Okay, so I'm not gonna use a primer with this. I figure I don't use primers with foundation featured. I'm going to apply it half uh, with sponge, half with brush. I'm gonna wear it all day. I'm gonna check in tonight and let you know how it went. Wish me luck. <laughs> Let's see how it covers my under eye area and maybe I don't use a concealer before I powder. That's a pretty good... I haven't self tanned in a few days so that's good. And when I say self tan I pretty much just use like a Jergens or just a sort of one of those daily gradual tans. I don't like go and mega tan. <laughs> mega tan! Okay. Go on this side. It's actually kind of maybe a light shade for summer for me. I probably should go up. Of course, who knows that the shade I was the day I went into Ulta because um, if I hadn't put on any bronzer or anything and then I'm like putting it on my neck, it's like, yeah, that matches. And then, you know, I come home and I'm putting on a bunch of stuff for, that was like, I was sort of talking and forgetting I was applying makeup. <laughs> Pay attention, Rebecca. Okay, so I'm definitely doing this more of a medium to full coverage application versus the like sheer 
sporty application. That's what I like to consider that. Let's get some on my eyelids. Get that SPF and the moisture. Initial thoughts on the sponge side are it looks decent. It has a uh, emollient, you know, kind of a, you know what I'm trying to say. It's um, dewy. It's also doing a pretty good job. It's not in my pores. Okay. Foundation brush, any brand will do. Sigma, BH Cosmetics, Morphe, you choose. <laughs> Seriously, I'm like, I think I got this on, actually I think they sent it to me. This is the, no this is Sigma, this is the F80. Oh, here I thought it was a dupe. All right. Every now and then I figure out, you know, you sometimes think, well, it doesn't matter how you get the product on my, the back of my hand looks, look at how nice, <laughs> dewy and youthful that looks. Um, sometimes it matters if it's a brush, if it's a sponge, if it's your finger. I was going to look in the mirror with this. Um, I like the way it looks on my neck. I feel like it doesn't look makeup-y on my neck. It has like a good skin finish. I feel like it doesn't do a lot of coverage on my nose. That's such a tricky texture of face area because we're always sort of putting salicylic acid. I think like our noses are really slick from all the the pore products we put on there. Um, I don't know if a really oily skin is going to like this. I think if you live in a dry climate or if you're normal maybe normal to oily, definitely dry skins are gonna like this. I don't know if you're very oily what you're gonna think about this, unless you really powder it down. Look at how shiny, very luminous, lots of moisturizing, um, kind of a very healthy, look. I think I'm pretty well, like this looks okay, right? So I could maybe skip concealer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Tarte, the Rainforest of the Sea. This is a very light coverage. This is not your shape tape. Um, I'm just going to go in here. I always seem to need extra coverage right there. So let's do that. So then I'm going to just powder over. I did just a light dusting of powder and it really seemed to a little bit textured. Can you see that? Right here. I'm gonna fill in off camera my, this is the uh, face shaping palette. This is the first one. The second one uh, is very similar. And I'm gonna use blush, that's tart, and highlighter, that's tart. And I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I am back with a full face and I have some thoughts and comments about this foundation. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Baby. She's, I have like these little things, ties on my sleeves and she's jumping up and getting them. So folks, let's talk about this. Um, this found sealer foundation. When I first put on my bronzer and my contour and everything, I thought to myself, this is not going well. Everything looked really patchy. Um, I could see texture. I felt like where I applied powder, just it just killed the foundation. I just didn't understand what was happening. 
Um, and then I'd spin a while. I had to, I put my makeup on and then I had to drive Emma to work and then I came back and, um, so it's been an hour at least since I first applied my makeup and now I like it. I am feeling like everything has come together. It's definitely looks smoother. Um, every, all my other makeup is looking more seamless and blended and I like it. Also shout out to this highlighter that I haven't used in so long. I think a year or two ago it was a favorite. It's the exposed highlight. Gina Creon turned me on to it. Mm -hmm. It is so subtle and so amazing. I love it. I forgot I love it. Yeah, it's not like in your face. It's super smooth. Okay. So I can't wait to see what happens with this foundation because honestly, um, if it does break down more because I feel like I look a little textured in my T-zone. I really feel like there's some areas of my skin that I've had to really work in blending and I don't know if that's going to improve where my skin's going to warm up. Maybe a little bit of oil um, to the surface will kind of bind everything together or if it's just going to look like a mess. So I'm really curious. I've got a whole day ahead of me. Um, Aaron's uh, kid, you know, mom, mom pool. <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, the usual making dinner kind of chores. So we'll see, okay? I will see you guys in at least six hours and I will check in with you then. So fingers crossed, I'm not a hot mess. Okay, see ya. You guys, it's May 21st something and I'm wearing a flannel shirt. What is going on? Okay, folks, I'm back. It has been, it's six. I'm looking at my nightstand clock. I could look at my phone right here on my table. Do you do that? Do you do where you like, what time is it? Oh, my phone tells me. It's six o'clock in the evening and I've worn this for a solid eight hours and I have mixed feelings. Let me share. I think right now on camera, it looks pretty good. Pretty darn good, right? PDG, we're gonna get some Fergie t-shirts and they're gonna say pretty darn good. Okay, so I feel like I'm at about a my face looks good at about what a three feet, about an arm's length, right? But then when you go up here, you can see where it's breaking down on my nose and my chin. And it's a little pin dotty on my forehead. It's a little bit shiny. Now, I feel like my skin looks really good. Like the, the product is good for my skin. I feel like the product itself though is breaking down in my T-zone. So oily skins beware. I have no idea what this would do if your entire face was oily. <laughs> it was kind of cold today, hence the flannel shirt. So I didn't get kind of like, you know, ooh, a summer day, let's test this. But I feel like it has a radiance to it, like it looks good. It looked really good on my skin. There was about a four hour window where it looked really good. I'm not sure if primer is the key. I don't know if a different powder would be better on top of it. Maybe no powder and just like let it sit on the face for a while and wear it like a tinted moisturizer, or kind of like sunscreen. Um, I mean, all of those are possibilities. In fact, since we're here, have I washed my hands? Yes, 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 I hope so. I just made dinner for the family. Yeah, anyway. You guys, I swear my brain is Swiss cheese. If you would like a video of just me ranting about weird family shit and getting older and all this stuff, let me know. Because I feel like I could just sit here for about 30 minutes and just do a 
constant, like a, 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 a conscience stream download of all the stuff that's in my head. <sighs> like, why is it when you come in the door and you've been out too and your husband just got home from work and you both have busy days and you walk in and you're still the one doing all the stuff in the kitchen and then like he does whatever but sits down and turns on the basketball game? Wouldn't that be weird if mom sat down and turned on the basketball game and then everyone's like, where's dinner? I'm at, ooh, I almost spilled over my teacup. Okay, I'm gonna do an experiment where I'm gonna rub it in with my finger. Are we dealing with a, the ordinary serum foundation here? Is this the deal that we need to rub it in? No, because <laughs> my nose still kind of doesn't look very good. You guys, this shade is too light. Let's. Let's call the elephant in the room for what it is. It's a white elephant. <laughs> and not in the fun Christmas present way. Um, yeah. Uh. Oh, and FYI, you guys, my lip color today is homesickle. Inside joke. If you saw my Ulta haul when I bought this tart, tart lip paint in Home Slice. Yeah, see, look what's happening. Look how white that is, and it is not helping. I look like a mime. This is not good. Y'all, I wanna get in the bath. I wanna get about a glass of whiskey this big. <laughs> Some dairy-free pizza. All right, folks, speaking of, I think mine's in the pizza oven, I better go. I mean, in the toaster oven. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will put links below for the products. <sighs> Let me know if you've tried this and what you thought. Uh, please subscribe to my... I just spit. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.